Hey YouTube, EMP's Blade Knight 60, and it's that time again. It's deck box zone time. So you're probably wondering which random deck do I got this time? Well, it's Aquarius, and if anyone remembers far back ago, Aquarius is my frog deck, which was a uh, kind of a frog FTK engine. Then it was a frog arts, and now we got this new version, which I kind of like. It's kind of fun. All right, so we'll get going here. We're still got the Monarch engine in it a little bit yet. We got one Chaos, we got two Ryza, and one Jinzo. Yay, Jinzo! <laughs> I'm still glad I pulled that thing. And of course, pe you, people are probably wondering, where's the more Chaos? Well, I got, I only got one. So piss off. Let's see here. We got three Swap Frogs, usual Mill Toss, Special Summon, Dealy Bopper. Uh, three flip flop because they're still fun, especially against synchros. Haha, -ha. there it goes. Bye bye. Uh, three dupe because I can still make the lock. One uni, extra frog under 500 attack. Keyword there. Watch for later. One rodent totem, still used. Uh, one tree born, one fish board. And let's see here, triple Debris because, well. How often do I have a level 2, under 500 attack monster in the great Let's see here. That's flip flops. That's treeborn. That's uni frog. And that's dupe frog. That would also be rodent totem, but that's kind of pointless. You can't be used for synchro summons. And we come down here to jester confit, which is left over from the the monarchs. Still used. It's handy. Special summon that thing up to the field and tribute it for a monarch. There you go. One monarch. Alright, spells still running the soul exchange. I find it handy. Uh, dark hole for field nuke. Two e enemy controllers used with Ronin Tonin or Treeborn Frog. Continue with monster removal slash destroying. One fissure. And a new card. Actually, not really a new card. An old card, which I'm starting to really, really like. Share the pain. Alright, for those people who do not know or are not really familiar with the spell card, Here's how this works. Activate it. Tribute one monster on your side of the field. Your opponents must tribute one monster on their side of the field. So I tribute Ronin Totem. Oh look, it can, it can come back. What are you going to tribute? The one Briotic on your side of the field? Awesome. Guess what? <laughs> Debris Dragon. <laughs> Twenty. Let's see here. That's six. Ah. All right. Book of Eclipse. Placement for Book of the Moon. Mass flipping. Stalling, that's what that's called. Speaking of stalling, it's Nightmare Steel Cage. Where's swords? I don't care! Nightmare Steel Cage. It's on for less turns. Plus, they can't attack and I can't attack. And we get that set up. I like setup time. Uh, salvage, just one. Double Cyclone, no MST. I'm out. Using those. Uh, one Mass Driver. We got a non aggression area, which I really like. Activate during your standby phase. Toss one card from your hand to the graveyard. Your opponent may not normal summon, special summon, or set next turn. Ha! Their turn is now useless. Except they have stuff on the field. Or did have stuff on the field. One of the two. Let's see here. One call, because I still use it. One bind, because it's still a great stall card. One trap dust shoot, because it's always funny doing that. One age of the oceanic dragon lord to protect my monsters from being destroyed. And a wabaku. Extra deck. I can spam formula like crazy, or even with only using one Treeborn Frog and one Fishboard Blaster. One Iron Chain Dragon, obvious reasons, Debris plus a level 2 Water type monster, aka Flip Flop, Dupe, or Uni equals him. Ancient Fairy because Treeborn comes back, summon Debris, get Flip Flop, Dupe, or uh, I guess Unifrog, and there's a level 7, so that's the Ancient Fairy Dragon, and both Black Roses. Plus, she's got great defense. I don't know why people don't use her more often. Triple Stardust Dragon. He's down there. I can get 8 out of here, too. Debra Special Summons level 2, and I toss Summon Swap Frog. Haha. -ha. There you go. Uh, same thing with Scrap. Same thing with RDA. Two of those. 
And I am running a Shooting Star and a Red Nova Dragon just because I spam Formula Synchron so much that it is possible to get Red Nova, although I have not tried it yet. But it is also more likely to get Shooting Star Dragon because I spam that, get him out, ta-da. Most of the time I just spam that thing and Synchro Summon something else. Deck's kind of nice. I kind of went over some of the combos. You share the pain away. Uh, you uh, rode and toad and there went that. Granted, it's your opponent's choice, but if you got something like Fizzier around, something like Enemy Controller, and you have Freeborn Frog out there, hell, even rode and toad and just remove another one, he's back. You econ the one away that you want to keep on the field for them. You Fizzier and you share the pain them to death. There's their side of the field gone it's using spell cards. Ha ha. Like I said, I really like this card. It's actually very nice. Nasty as hell. Of course, uh, Jinzo anti-trap. That's why most of the time when I use Fishboard Blaster, I'm tossing trap cards that are already anti -ed. So that's pretty much for the deck. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys en are enjoying your new year. I'm hoping to get a uh, zeal thing put up sometime soon. I have other decks. Friday Night Duels might be down for a little while. We just got done with the tournament, and I don't think people were very interested in it, so we're just going to probably be down to like February. Also, we'll be heading off to a regional on the 15th, which I do believe is... Uh, uh, let's see, today's Sunday, so one week and six days-ish. Well, I'm staring over at my calendar, and I leaned this way. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start rambling pretty soon, so see ya.